Today, I'm going to share how to remove skin tags and warts overnight. Now, sometimes they might take a couple of days to two weeks, but you're going to notice a significant shrinkage of the skin tag or wart each time you apply this remedy. Now, this video is an updated video of one that I did, I think, about a year ago, because I have something else to share with you that is very, very effective of getting rid of the deeper cause. So this is new information. I was debating whether I was gonna put this on a YouTube video or not because they tend to take these things down, but I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. But I do have a lot more in-depth information on my site. But here's the big question. What is a skin tag and what is a wart? It's this growth on your skin that looks like this little papule or pimple, and it doesn't necessarily keep growing. It might change in color, but it is a benign tumor. A benign tumor is something that doesn't turn into a malignant tumor, which is going to spread into cancer. It just kind of stays at a certain size. But the problem with these warts and skin tags is sometimes, especially the warts can grow in your private parts. I mean, vaginal area, penis, uh, cervix, rectum, uh, or anywhere in the body. They do tend to grow in areas of folds in the body and certain skin folds. And they're kind of an anabolic effect, which means a something that is growing. That's what anabolic means. They are associated with HPV, which stands for human papilloma virus. They're more common in women, especially when they're pregnant or if they have polycystic ovarian syndrome or they're overweight. Now, what's in common with all three of these? Excessive amounts of estrogen. And it just so happens that estrogen is anabolic. It's an anabolic hormone. It's also more associated with insulin resistance and diabetes. Now, what is unique about this? Well, people with diabetes and insulin resistance typically have excessive insulin, but people with diabetes usually have insulin resistance, which doesn't make insulin work. So even though they might have more insulin, at least at first, they actually are suffering from a deficiency of insulin deeper in the cells. But the point is that insulin is an anabolic hormone. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this HPV thing. What is that? Well, HPV is not just one virus. It's a strain of 230 viruses. Some create more problems for you than others. But here's the thing. 95% of the population has HPV. That means chances are you likely have it in your body right now. And in fact, HPV causes at least 99% of the time, I think it's like 100% of the time, something called cervical cancer, which is the second most common cancer in women. And when I talk about cervical, I'm not talking about your neck, I'm talking about the cervix, okay? Cancer in your cervix is caused by HPV. Now, how does the HPV thing affect a skin tag or a wart? Well, it does a very specific thing to a part of your immune system called the natural killer cells. So you have these natural killer cells that are uh, designed to go after and kill cancer cells as well as certain viruses. And HPV has an evil strategy of weakening your natural killer cells, your defense against viruses and cancer. But there's some other things that also weaken this NKC. Stress, injury, trauma, bereavement, which is like grief or loss of a loved one, surgery, also a nutrient deficiency, especially low zinc and vitamin D. In fact, people that have an active outbreak of HPV are usually always deficient in vitamin D. And I think the reason for that, and this is just my guess, is HPV and other viruses have this other strategy of blocking or downgrading your vitamin D receptor, weakening the strength of your immune system so they can exist and live and spread. Also, chronic inflammation can weaken the, uh, the natural killer cells and aging as well. So even though 95% of the population has this virus, why doesn't everyone have skin tags and warts, right? And why do certain women, not all women, get cervical cancer? Well, I think what happens is it really depends on how much stress, trauma, loss, surgery, how much vitamin deficiency or, or micronutrient deficiencies a person has, or how much inflammation they have, how old they are, how much insulin resistance they have. So the greater amount of those factors, the more likely 
likelihood the person would have these skin tags or warts. Let's talk about what the remedy is, okay? And here's the simplicity of it. You're going to take one drop of iodine. I recommend povidone iodine because povidone is pretty safe. It's very soluble, very inexpensive. And you put that in a little dish, and then we need to add some garlic. So you can either get a garlic crusher or get a couple spoons to crush the garlic or press into it. All you need is one clove. And then you take a Q-tip, and I totally spelled that wrong. So forgive me on the spelling, but all you need to do is apply something right over that skin tag or wart. Then you put a Band-Aid right over it, okay? And you're gonna repeat this every day until it's completely gone. Now I'm gonna add one more thing, and this is gonna be amazing uh, because I found something that's a super effective remedy to clear out HPV. I don't know of any drug that can do it, okay? But this is a natural remedy and it's called AHCC and it stands for Active Hexose Correlated Compound. There's over a hundred studies and the randomized control trials, okay? this I think it's mainly in Japan, not in America. I mean, this is highly researched. And what it does is it significantly increases the potency of the natural killer cells. It reestablishes the strength of your own body's immune system, which is awesome because there's virtually no side effects. And then that way, your own body can clear out this virus. It also strengthens the autonomic nervous system, both the sympathetic as well as the parasympathetic. So the combination of the one drop of iodine and the one drop of garlic with AHCC, I think would be a perfect uh, remedy for not just making this go away, but really getting rid of the deeper root cause as well as strengthening the stress response so it can even bulletproof you and strengthen your immune system going forward. Now, because of the censoring and the suppressing of the algorithms on YouTube, it's becoming more difficult to find my content and there's a lot of content that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So to make sure you have full access of all my information, go to drberg.com and subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side.